G'day guys, welcome to Yana Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig and today we're going to do my version of Hits and Shits where I talk to you about a handful of products that I think that are either, well, hits or shits. Um, so if you're interested in that, stay tuned and um, I look forward to talking to you about these products this week. I'm a mess, I'm a mess. Please excuse that. Welcome back guys. Alright, I've got 10 products today that I want to talk about. One of them is kind of like a bonus because in my last video I spoke about a product that I kind of shit on, but I found a way to use it. So I thought I'd start with that one and that is the face halo sort of like cleansing pads or whatever you want to call them. So you can pick these up at Priceline and it's $30 and you get, how many do you get? Do you get three or four? You know, I can't even remember. I've given some away. Anyway, um, so... I don't like these the way that they're promoted to use. Like they're promoted that, you know, you just wet them with water and it can take all this makeup off and clean your face and blah, 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 blah. <sighs> yeah, it can, um, but it does a lot of rubbing and tugging and I don't, I don't approve. So um, I thought, well, how can I figure out how to use this? So typically I will use a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil and I'll massage in and everything and um, then I'll add a little bit of water to my face, turn it into an emulsification and then rinse off. But what I found I'd like to do afterwards is I, I generally like to grab like a face washer or something and just sort of like just you know, just give my face a once over after I've washed everything off. I don't know why I just like to do it, but I've never got a face washer on hand. And these face halos are like, they're like this big, right? Um, and so I, I've always got them laying around in my bathroom. They don't take up that much space. They're easy to dry out. You don't have to hang them up somewhere. Um, you know, they, they just dry out rather quickly. So I, what I've been finding myself doing is grabbing these face halos after I finish doing my cleansing routine and just giving my face a good old wipe down with um, just straight water after my cleansing process. And I found that it is helping to sort of just dislodge some areas that I might not have gotten um, you know, with my other cleanser, because uh, I do do a double cleanse, but this is like, you know how like sometimes um, mascara can sort of stick to the, the lash line or you might get a little bit of um, eyeliner in the corners of your eyes or something, or you might have just missed somewhere like your ears or something like that. I'm finding that with this, um, it just helps, you know, pick up those areas that I might have missed before I go in for my second cleanse. But it also even helps if you want to use it with your second cleanse. So the second cleanse I usually do with a cream cleanser. And um, I don't know, it's just nice. Instead of having the, all this water dripping all over the place, you know, I'll lather up my face and, and give it a, a quick splash, but then just wipe it down with a moist um, face halo. So I'm um, look, I'm going... <laughs> I'm going to um, retract my previous shit and, and call it a hit um, if you use it in the right way, I guess. So I guess it's sort of up to you on what you want to do with it. It, it. Yeah, for the purpose of what they say to use it, I think it's a shit, but I found a way to make it a hit for me. And that is a bonus because it means that I'm no longer wasting products or things that I've purchased in the past. So let's move on to the next one, which is the Lush Yognog body wash now this is a limited edition um, body wash and I'd been meaning to pick it up for quite some time now and I didn't get around to it and uh, November last year it popped up again and it was calling my name and I grabbed it now I was going I, I, I originally got the smaller bottle which I believe was $9.99 or $9.95 or something like that and I tried it and oh my god <laughs> when I tell you how good this made me feel, I swear, I swear I'm just transported to another world. Any hoosies, I decided that when I got paid next, I was going to go and buy the biggest bottle they could, right? And I'm watching it to make sure that they still had stock and everything. And then the day, the night before actually, the night before I got paid, I went on there, they still had stock, I'm like, you beauty, in the morning, as soon as I can, boom, I'm going to buy that bottle. And then I got up in the morning and the biggest bottle was gone and I'm like, Because I love it that much, guys. I love it. I love it. So anyway, I ended up getting the next size up, and I'm glad I did. I'm sort of like squandering it away a little bit um, to make it last. Um, you know, I mean, obviously I've got other body washes that I can use as well, but this one really is great. It's... <laughs> 
it does something to my mental health that I just, just nothing else can compare, right? So what else can I say? It is a definite hit. And come November, um, I'm probably going to buy the largest bottle, like straight up. And I might even buy some smaller ones to give them out as gifts because that's how good I think it is. Love it to pieces. And I highly recommend it. And I'm getting goosebumps actually just thinking about it because I'm going to have a shower tonight and I'm going to use it. So... I can't praise it any more than I have. It is my favourite body wash. And um, yeah, <laughs> go and get yourself some. I mean, obviously you're going to have to wait until November unless you know someone who's got some, right? But it's definitely worth it. Anywho, let's move on. The next thing I want to talk to you about is the pharmacy. What is it? The uh, crisp... Is it the crisp? Well, no, the Clean Apple Cleansing Balm, which is what I'm currently using to take my makeup off with. I love this stuff. I don't remember who recommended it, but... Whoever did, you know, it was probably one of um, two people. It was probably either um, uh, Kitsnitch or Halio. Uh, one of those two ladies have probably recommended it. Any, I digress. I love this stuff, guys. I love it. I used to use a cleansing oil by the brand Simple, and it was amazing. It was cheap, but it was amazing. And then they just got rid of it. They got rid of it. And then they swapped it out with some cleansing oil that's specific for your eyes, whatever. I don't know. They changed it. It's shit. I don't buy it. But in the meantime, I had nothing. Like, I'm, I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to use? And I tried all these other things. I tried, oh my gosh, what did I try? I tried so many brands. I can't even think of them at the top of my head, but I hated everything that I tried. I tried the Neutrogena one. Um, I tried uh, Palmer's uh, cleansing oil. I, I just... I hated every single one of them. And my next one I was going to try was Shoe and Mirror. Um, but, like, they are super expensive. And then somebody said that this was just as good, if not better, than the Shoe and Mirror cleansing oils. And I looked at the price. And then they also have this limited edition, the um, Clean Apple one, that just came out. And I'm like, you know what? Yes. Uh, it was like this sign, right? So anyway, I purchased that and I haven't looked back. I love the shit out of this. I'm going to buy some more. Well, obviously that was a limited edition one. They do have a normal scent. Sometimes they bring out different scents. They did at Christmas. Like they brought out like a trio, uh, like a mini set with different flavors like cherry and I don't know. I don't know. You get the gist, right? But I absolutely love it. I'm definitely going to be buying more from this brand. Um, but yeah, I just, how can I explain it? So I don't remember how much it costs. Obviously, I'm going to leave some details on the screen for you. But like, I, you don't need that much. You smoosh it between your hands. You know, you put it on your face. You massage it in. You massage it over your eyes. Um, and then you wet your hands a little bit. Turn it into an emulsification. Rinse it off and it gets off of at least 95% of your makeup. It could even get off uh, like 100% of your makeup if you want to be more physically vigorous with your skin. Um, and what I find with this one is that, you know, some can leave this weird sort of waterproofy residue on your face. This one does kind of leave a residue, but it's not an annoying residue. It's more like a moisturization, like your skin just feels hydrated when you finish using this. I absolutely love this stuff. It's like magic. There's something about it and I can't put my finger on it. I'm actually going to look into the ingredients a little bit more and try and figure out what that is. But I love it. I definitely recommend it, especially if you have dry skin. Um, this stuff is amazing and it's, it's a definite hit for me and I will be repurchasing this or at least the uh, from the same brand. Obviously, the scent's going to be different. I ain't mad. I don't care what scent it is. I'm just going to purchase it. So let's move on to the next year that I want to talk about, which is the Cloud Lab Lip Clay Lipsticks. I'm currently wearing one at the moment. I do believe that the shade that I'm wearing is um, Bear. It's either Bear or Dune. I don't know. But I I love these. See? These came out... Um, I can't actually remember the name of the collection. Anyway, it doesn't matter. These are absolutely gorgeous. These are strange to put on. They are matte. They do dry down. Like, they're not, they don't, I don't know if you can see that or not, but whatever. They don't transfer um, once they dry down, but they're not like, um, they're not like suck the moisture out, crispy, dry, mummy kind of texture like you can find with a lot of mattifying or matte um, lipsticks. These are lovely. Um, stays on pretty well. I mean, obviously it's going to break down if you're eating foods with oil in it and stuff like that, but I absolutely love these. They feel really comfortable. They look lovely. I don't know. They have sort of like a blurring effect. I do want to say though that um, putting them on takes a little bit of getting used to because they go on kind of like a, a moussey kind of texture 
And so it can take a little bit if you're like me, you don't have perfect like defined um, lips. Maybe you might want to use like a lip pencil or something like that, but I can't be fucked with that shit. So I just put it on and, you know, I just like it. I like that sort of blotted kind of lip look. I mean, it's not like blotted, blotted. You can still see it looks, it looks pretty um, pigmented. And it is, it is definitely pigmented, but I don't know. It just gives that sort of like blurred sort of look. Anyway, I love the shit out of these. I've actually got four. I'm thinking about purchasing some more. Um, oh gosh, the Smoky collection has just come out. Excuse me. And there's one there that I was looking, maybe two actually, that I was considering picking up. I don't know, but these are great. I absolutely love them. And um, there's not much more that I can say about that. All right, let's move on to the next product I want to talk to you about. This is also a yeah. This is the Dermal Therapy Heal Balm. I don't know what it is about this. Like, okay, all right. So, you remember Avon? You used to be able to get foot creams from it. Like, I would buy all of those and I'd slather my feet up and I even brought those stupid socks that you put on afterwards. I hated the shit. And every other foot moisturizer that I ever brought after that made not much difference to my feet, to be honest with you. It just made me feel, it made me feel gross, actually. Um, and I don't like wearing socks to bed either. But I picked this up, I think I picked it up in a Bella box. I'm not 100% sure. I may have actually purchased this with my own money. Actually, I think I did. Yeah, I did. Anywho, um, this is strange, right? So you put it on and it's, it's kind of thick. It's not like a Vaseline. It's, it is more like a, a clayish kind of cream, I want to say. And it feels normal when you first put it on, you rub it in, you know, it's got to be a little bit um, uh, thick for a little bit. Um, but then it does this kind of dry down sort of thing. And I can't, exp the next day your feet just, they're smooth. Um, this is really different to anything that I've tried before. I can't explain it. I mean, it's not a miracle cure, but there's something in this that works. Whereas every other foot cream that I've ever tried before that, doesn't you know what I mean like you know how you get some lip balms for example that make you feel like you need to keep reapplying lip balms and then you get some lip balms that actually hydrate your skin well this is kind of like that this is like a foot cream that seems to have something in it that actually does something and um I only had a little um a little sample sort of size of it so I'm gonna go out and buy some more but I like what I see with this it definitely does do something and um yeah I'm a little bit excited but I you know while we're talking about dermal um They've got some other products that I think are actual heroes. So here's a little bit of a bonus. I actually use their Pawpaw uh, Lip Balm. Amazing. I love it. Have you ever tried the Mario Badesco? I think it's a coconut sort of um, lip ointment or not ointment, lip balm. It's better than that, except you don't have that coconut flavored lip balm. I hate coconut. Like, I mean, I like to eat coconut, but I don't like coconut scented things. Anyway, look, it's good. Okay, go and try it. Also, their hand cream is not bad too. Now... I don't want to like blow up the hand cream because I'm really disappointed with hand creams. I mean, I've tried so many, so many recommendations and everything all over YouTube. People that I know in person have told me about all these hand creams that they think is the ant's pants, but I have hated every single one of them. This one I can kind of tolerate, um, but even still, I still think that this one could absorb a little bit faster. I don't know. I'm really funny about my hands feeling gross. I haven't found my perfect hand cream, but this one's pretty good. Like if I, if I need to mess with any sort of hand creams, this is the one that I will use until I can find my holy grail hand cream. So you know what, this brand, actually go check them out. They're pretty low um, priced. I think you can get a lot of their stuff from Priceline. But anyway, um, I absolutely love the foot cream. I absolutely love the lip balm and the hand cream's okay, you know? So go check them out, see what you think for yourself, but they are definitely years on my list. The next thing, I'm going to have to read it to you because the name just... The next thing that is on my list is the La Roche-Posay Lip Cow Balm AP Plus M Body Balm. Now, this was recommended by the boys off Doctorly. And I was looking for an all-over body moisturizer because um, I got really dry skin. And I was looking for an all-over body moisturizer, a good recommendation, a dermatologist recommendation, I guess. And... I brought this because they were just talking this shit up and I, I brought it and you know I put it on one night and I'm rubbing it in and I instantly hated it but it's not a shit all right so let me explain when I put it on 
Um, I was just laying in bed, you know, I'd had a shower like hours before or whatever, and I was just laying in bed and I decided to put it on. And this cream is really, really thick, right? And um, I just felt like I needed to use so much of it just to get on all of the real estate, right? And when I did and I sat down, I felt, I felt gross. I felt kind of I don't know, a tacky, tacky is the word. I felt tacky and I looked really shiny. Like, not like greasy shiny, but like somebody just painted highlighter all over me, you know? Um, I, I didn't like it. I did not like it. It was gross. And I thought, oh no, you know, I've got this whole big bloody bottle of it to use and I paid 30 something dollars for it and I didn't know what I was going to do with it and I thought, you know what, I'm going to I'm going to keep trying. And I kept trying the way that I was doing it before, which I don't know why I thought that was going to work, you know, Einstein's theory, <laughs> obviously. Uh, and I'm going to get better doing the same thing every single day, so, or change. Um, so I decided that instead what I was going to do is I was going to have a shower and instead of drying myself off with a towel, as soon as I got out of the shower, I squirted in my hand and I... I went to town. I put it all over me and, um, you know, I let that sort of absorb in while I did other things, you know, I, I washed my face, um, you know, just, just other things, things in the bathroom or things that you can do, just plottering around in your bedroom. And um, I love it. I love what this does to my skin for the next day uh, and every day after that when I use it like that. Like, I can't explain it. It's like two different fucking moisturizers. I don't have that shiny sort of weird cast on my skin. Um, I don't even have to use as much. It spreads so much faster. It even absorbs into the skin so much faster. So while it was taking maybe an hour, hour and a half when I wasn't showering, uh, well, I mean, obviously I was showering, but when I wasn't doing it straight after a shower, um, after I'd gotten out of the shower and, and used it that way, it was absorbing into my skin in maybe 10, maximum 15 minutes, right? It was fine. Um, and yeah, like my skin absolutely loves this. I think this is definitely the ants pants. Just you got to make sure you use it right. And, um, and I'm glad I did experiment with it because a lot of the time I just can't be bothered with shit like this. Like if it doesn't work the way that I think that it should work or the way... I can't be bothered. I don't have time to fuck around with bullshit. But anyway, I'm glad I did give this just a little bit more of a chance. And I love this and I would recommend it um, if you've got dry skin, dry legs, whatever. Or if you just need, you need to be a bit more plump. Or if you can't be bothered with the whole, you know, vigorous moisturising. It really doesn't take that long when you get out of the shower, dripping still, just to slather it all over. It's like, it's like, what, it took me under under 60 seconds? Opposed to if you've dried off and everything like that and, and you got to use more, it'll probably take me about 5-10 minutes to do my whole body and then I'm like exhausted and panting and I'm... <laughs> I really don't like wasting time. I know it's not wasting time, it's pampering, it's looking after your skin. I don't have time or I don't have the patience. So anyhow, that's the way I use it. I absolutely love it. My body gets moisturised from it. Win-win. I'll definitely repurchase this. I definitely recommend this. And I just recommend to do it the way that I'm doing it if you're not getting the results that you like from doing it on dry skin. So there's that. The next product is another yeah, but you know, it's got a nah element to it too. So let me explain. This is the Ole, Ole Henriksen Lemonade Scrub, right? I love a good scrub. I really do. Uh, especially for my elbows and my knees. You know, I don't typically do it on my face, but you know, I love scrubs and I love citrus. And um, Teresa is Dead recommended this and I brought like a little sample. Um, I don't know how big it was. Maybe it was 30, 50 mils, whatever. It was enough to have a good go of it anyway. And I love the smell. I love the effect, but the fucking price. I blew through this like you wouldn't believe. The amount, like if I wanted to use this all over my body, there is no way, no way that I would purchase this over and over and over. It is expensive. It's like $40 for a tube. I could use that tube in two weeks. It, I could use it in a week if I was using it all over my body, you know, every night. I mean, I wouldn't. But, you know, if you were the type of person who used a scrub every night, like, but even if you weren't, like, just say you use this once a week or something. It's not going to last you that long all over your body. You might get maybe four or five goes before you've gotten it. No, that's expensive. Um, so it's 
it's a good product. It really is. It is a yeah product, but the price is the price is enough. I mean, I would rather get a completely different scent, but a product that works effectively exactly the same for ten dollars. In fact, I think there is one out there. That pink lemonade scrub by um, Saint Ivy's or something like that. I think is pretty much on par with it. Just a different scent, and it's thirty dollars cheaper. I don't know how they priced it the way that they did. Anywho, um, I won't repurchase this again, specifically because of the price, but if it like fell in my lap, somebody else didn't like it, or like it was like 75% off or something like that, yeah, I'd purchase it. Oh yeah, I would. I would use that shit up. But I'm not paying that. I'm definitely not paying that. On another note though, there is a, another product from Ole Henriksen that I do enjoy, and that is the... What is it? The uh, Truth, the Face, the Truth Gel Cleanser. I think I've said that all wrong. I don't know. Ole Henriksen, the Truth Gel Cleanser. I enjoy this. Um, I mean, I would prefer if it had a different scent to it. In fact, I'd prefer if it had no scent to it. But I find that when I use this, um, I use this as a second cleanse uh, or just a nightly cleanse um, when I'm showering and stuff like that. I, I don't find that it stings my eyes. It washes off nicely, it, it foams up nicely, like it's not an extreme foam, but it's enough to make you feel like, you know, it's really doing something. Um, I think this is lovely stuff, and, um, you know, I don't think it's too badly priced as well. A little does go a long way with this stuff, so I'll definitely, um, I'd definitely use this if it was in my stash again. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I would specifically go out and repurchase it, just because... There are a lot of um, cream cleansers out there that do the same thing, um, that are still cheaper. And I, I do prefer to go on the cheaper side, but I think this is nice. And um, yeah, if you want to discover the brand, I think um, they do have some really good products. I just question their price tag, that's all. So yeah, there you go. It is another year, but um, I want to experiment with some other products as well. So let's move on. The next product that I have is also sort of like a year and a nut, and I'll explain why again. So this is the Hask Biotin Boost Thickening Shampoo. And I brought this because <clears throat> my hair is usually pretty flat all the time. Like I just, I just can't get any sort of volume to it unless I put a whole lot of product into it. And I like the Hask scents, like the shampoos. I like the, um, the keratin one, which is the one that I use most of the time. I like the argan oil one, um, which kind of smells like... Um, vitamin C. Um, but this one, yeah, okay, look, it, it does definitely thicken up your hair, like it does give you volume um, without having that gritty sort of feeling that you'll get from powders and stuff like that. Um, but it smells like that imperial leather hand soap that you used to be able to buy. You probably still can buy, but everybody used to have it, like back in the 80s, 90s. I don't like that stuff. I really don't. And I would maybe use like that soap on my body, you know, I don't necessarily mind the smell of the soap soap on my body, but in my hair, no, I don't like, I don't like that. I don't know why, I just don't, but anyway, hmm. Um, and so that really, really turns me off. So, um, while I like the thickening of it, and it does sort of work, like I do see a little bit of volume, it's just not enough for me to go out and purchase it again. Um, and it really has disappointed me because I, I really, really love the smell of the products, um, the other products that Hask have. And, uh, this one just like, I don't know, it feels like it doesn't fit into their line. Might be just me. Anyway, um, yeah. So, I mean, this one, this one really is more of a nah. Uh, and that's just a personal preference nah. If you like the smell of that Imperial Leather Soap, then this is going to be right up your alley because, like I said, it does volumize a little bit. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, I just can't get past the smell of it, the scent of it. It's just, just, no thanks. <laughs> Let's move on. The next product that I have is a definite nah, and that is the Miss K Skin Star Dust Eye Mask. Got this from a Bella Box looked really pretty, it had like stars inside of it, it was translucent, looked really, really good, you know, Korean beauty, can't go wrong, great stuff normally. 
decided to slap these on and straight away I knew there was something wrong. So to start off with, they were sort of stuck together and I had to peel them off each other. And when I did that, it left them really chunky around the edges, like like it was curdled. It was really hard to explain. Like it wasn't, it wasn't pretty. But I'll look past that because it doesn't need to be pretty. It just needs to work, right? And then I put them on and they wouldn't properly adhere, I guess, or suction onto my face, which was really annoying because I didn't want to lay down or anything just to have to keep them on my face. So that kind of pissed me off. Um, and then... Probably within two minutes of having them on there, I felt a burn. And it's not a tingle, it's not that tingle where you go, oh yeah, this is lovely, it's doing something. It was like, oh shit, <laughs> oh shit, I gotta get this off. So I took them off and I put them back on the packaging that they came on and I thought, yeah, no, nah, I'm not gonna mess with that. Like maybe the product is good, but maybe it's just not for me, I don't know. And I went back maybe four hours later and these things sitting out in the air had shriveled into this translucent kind of like, I don't know, skin, paper, like, I can't even explain it. It kind of looked like, like if you got one of those glue sticks and you rubbed it on a surface, like if you rubbed it on baking paper and then you just peeled it off, it was like really, really thin and I don't know. It was weird. Okay. So if it wasn't just for the, um, the fact that it was burning my face, you know, then there was the, the weird texture and then the fact that they wouldn't stay on my face. This is definitely a nah for me. It might work for some other people, but there was just too many issues I personally found with them when I've tried better products. So I ain't going to recommend these. Um, I think they're priced okay. I think they're ten dollars for a packet of one, which personally I would prefer more around about the four or five dollar mark. But that's just me being a tight ass again, so what can I say? Um Yeah, I mean they are pretty much the products that have stood out to me the most in the last couple of months. Um I know that some of them are a little bit um controversial there with the yeah and nahs but I really wanted to like give you my full opinion on what I felt with these products and as I said they are my personal opinion they are based on my face my skin type my hair type my personal preference what I expect in my products including the price range and everything like that so yeah I do hope you got something out of this whether it was just the price point my opinion um, I don't know, but either way, uh, I do hope to see you guys in my next video, which is coming up real soon. And, uh, until then, take care of yourself. Bye.